Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue with building our store accounts management feature here. So uh, if we click add new account, you'll see that it goes to store accounts forward slash create. And this is all remarkably similar to the manage item things where we clicked add new item and this went to uh, forward slash create as well. So what we're going to do, you've probably guessed this. We're going to go to storeitems.php, we're going to find that create thing, here it is here, and we're just going to copy that and take it across, okay? So if we open up store accounts, here we go, whoops it easy, and if we paste in this create thing, here we go, and there's a couple of mentions of the word item here and there. So I'm going to just replace that, uh, oh gee how are we doing this here, replace, here we go, so item is going to get replaced with account, yep, case sensitive, there we go, and that will do, uh, store items, well that's kind of uncool, we would want that to be store accounts, and there we go, now this for this thing to work, we're going to have to change the validation rules, obviously. For the moment, I'm just going to change it to first name is required, okay? I don't want to get bogged down with things that you already know how to do. You can make it more elaborate if you want. Be my guest. This is just a tutorial, you know, so I'm just kind of doing this as quickly as I can. Um, we don't need this item title thing. And what else? Um, right, we've got two functions here which are kind of interesting. We've got fetch data from post. Do you see that? And I'm sure there's another one, fetch data from DB somewhere. Um, yeah, here we are. Fetch data from DB and fetch data from post, okay? We don't need this big pick thing here, by the way. So these two functions are very important. Let's get them from store items. Uh, I'm going to go fetch data from post and fetch data from DB. Here they are, right here, okay? And I'll just paste them in for the moment, okay? Now, we have a problem because our table is nothing like this. Uh, the store items table was quite a short table, but look at the size of this table for store accounts. It's a huge table and fetch data from post and all of that's going to be completely different. Um, now, rather than have you guys type out tons and tons of table columns and we'll be here for ages, I'm going to show you something really, really cool that's going to save some time. I'm going to make a new function up called autogen, okay? And we'll just say hello for the moment. In fact, no, we won't. Let's just speed things up. I'll say MySQL query equals... And we want to do a query which is, let me just see, I think it's, oh, I'm going to cheat here. Um, what was the name of it? So, yeah, there we go. I had to look that up. It's, um, I'll just show you, show columns from store accounts, okay, show columns from store accounts, that's our magical little query, you've probably never used this before, but look, it gives us all of the columns here, right, so I'm going to go show columns from store accounts, and then I'm going to uh, run this query, it's a custom query, okay, and then I'm going to say for each query loading up result as row. Now we can see from PHP my admin that the name here is field, right? Field, that's the vibe. So I'm going to say column name equals row field, okay? And as a matter of fact, if we echo out the column name like so, and then we go to uh, store accounts forward slash autogen. You'll see that we've got all of the column names here, okay? And what I'm going to say is, if column name does not equal ID, then 
we'll chuck this onto the screen, like so. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now we can save some time here because what we need is something that looks like this. Uh, we'll paste this in like that. And uh, I'll do a little new line here. And we'll do a little uh, column name here. Now let me just get the backslash rocking. We don't want some error messages and whatnot, so we'll do that. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. And then in here, that's going to be the column name. I hope this makes sense. And then in here, this will be the column name. Like that. And uh, let's run this. Okay, so we'll take this one out here. I'll run it again. And look at that, isn't that fantastic, Ola? We've now just saved some time there and we are auto-generating the code that we need for this controller. I think it's the coolest thing ever. So let's do this again. And this time we're going to be doing uh, fetch data from DB, which looks something like that. And we'll just paste this in like so. Okay, and uh, same vibes apply, so we've got backslashes here. And then we'll go item title here. Oops, sorry. Sorry, that's going to be the column name there. So there we go. Oh, gee. Column name and column name. Okay, so let's refresh. And is that not the coolest thing ever? I mean, think of the work you've just saved yourself here. And you don't need to worry about typos or anything. This is the coolest vibe ever. And as a matter of fact, this is a little uh, function, this auto-generate thing, that you can use for any controllers in the future. And it's going to be a nice little time saver, okay? Um, so we'll... Grab this here, like this. And you know, when you get um, some of those enterprise frameworks that do automatic code generation, frameworks like Yi and so on, this is basically what they're doing, you know? Basically the same stuff that we are doing here. So I hope you do appreciate that little time saver. And um, I think... Are we going to wrap up? How am I doing for time here? I think I'll wrap up here actually for the moment. I think I will. So hopefully that's been useful and I'll see you in the next video.